no, no, no. All righty, everybody. Okay, so we are at home, and I got a thingy in my eye. All right, so we're down in my dungeon. So I thought I'd give you guys a quick rundown of what's going on. Uh, been a lot of questions and a lot of speculation, a lot of people thinking one thing when it's something else. But anyway, all right, so they released me out of the hospital. I'm home. I'm tired right now. This has been a couple of days in between, so I'm going to do some videos that are going to be pretty much up to par and up to snuff for the date. <clears throat> so I'll probably do it on the one day and then upload it the next day. This particular video, oh by the way, happy Remembrance Day to everybody who's watching this on Remembrance Day. Um, this is the day that I'm actually doing the video and I'm going to post it in a little bit as soon as I'm done. But at any rate, already let's get on with this. So, as you know I had heart issues. Well, they've narrowed it down I think, we're not sure. But at any rate, I've got a deformed or uh, birth defect. I've had it all my life. Uh, but most hearts, you have two arteries coming in from one side and then one artery on the other side. Well, the, the lone artery on the one side is not there. It's not where it's supposed to be. I still have the third artery. It's just not in the right place. Um, it's actually stuck in underneath where the two arteries go in on the one side. And it's much smaller than it should be. And the way it goes, it's intertwined in amongst a bunch of other organs and whatnot and is getting I don't know I want to use the word squished but it's uh, having pressure put on it that way so all my uh, the other arteries are fine there's no blockage or anything in them um, through all the tests that uh, they managed to and of course the phone never fits. all right so before we were so rudely interrupted all right so let's get i totally forget where i was in the conversation here but anyway so here's the deal my actually all my other stuff tests came back good uh the only thing that's a little off is my cholesterol is a little high in some areas but not overly high according to the doctor so it's not too bad but yes i still need to diet watch what i eat eat a little bit better try to do some more exercise but here's the problem is i get short of breath really fast now so i gotta watch what i do and i gotta pace myself according to the doctor they say not to do any ow heavy lifting or to exert myself in any way right now at least till i can get into the heart specialist and get that dealt with um so what they're gonna do well i don't know what they're gonna do but According to the cardiologist, she's thinking they might have to go in and reposition that third artery and uh, get it into a, a proper position so it's not being squished between the other arteries and the other organs or whatever that are in the way. Um, but that was just her speculating, so we don't know. So I'm not out of the woods yet. Still having a few issues. It's been a few days since uh, yesterday's video, actually to me doing this video. I, I'm going to try to do some videoing every day, but I can't guarantee it. So you'll have to bear with me. There's only so much I can video, but we're going to try to do something here. Uh, Got to get a fresh start of somehow and do something and, you know, shit like that. So still trying to get into the mode. I'm in the current mode of trying to clean my basement. Uh, as you can see behind me, not working too well right now, but I got my couch. Uh, somewhat tidied up. We got the big vacuum down. We're we're working on it slowly. It's a bit of a mess down here. So, any rate, oh, and I'm taking my drugs. They got me on. I can't even pronounce the name. Metropital or something like that. Uh, twice a day, and then baby aspirin for uh, twice a day for just keeping the blood thin. The metropital is for keeping my heart rate. Uh, somewhat regular oh that's the other thing too i have the heart palpitations and what happens there is normally the heart beats like this okay when i get the heart palpitations the heart races and it only goes like this it doesn't do full beats and what happens there according to the cardiologist is the blood will end up pooling and it ends up creating clots and then all of a sudden the heart will start beating again and it will push those clots through the veins into areas such as my brain, uh, the lungs, or whatever else, to vital areas, 
and it could cause problems. So they want to try to fix that at the same time. They're hoping that it's because of that one artery that it's causing that. It could be also, they're sending me for sleep apnea testing even though according to the nurses they're pretty sure I don't have it because my oxygen levels did not change at night when I was sleeping. And usually if you have sleep apnea, um, the oxygen levels will change drastically throughout the night. And they monitored me for a couple of nights and said that my oxygen levels did not change. So, but it's not a, a definitive test. It's not a definitive answer. So the, the cardiologist said they're going to send me actually for a sleep study. And the nice part about being in Canada is we don't have to pay for it. So directly. It comes out of our taxes, but we don't have to pay for it directly. So. So we'll end up getting that done and hopefully we don't get one of those doctors who's determined to say you've got sleep apnea even when you don't because there are a few of those doctors will do it no matter what uh, just because of your size. But we got to start eating a little healthier. Uh, we got to, and not by doctor's orders, just by my own decision. Uh, got to hopefully start doing some exercise. Uh, hopefully I can uh, do some because I don't want to, you know, end up short of breath and then have issues. So, and unfortunately doing just work around here, carrying stuff upstairs and whatnot, uh, do a couple trips up those stairs and I'm out of breath already. So we will have to see. But anyway, stay tuned. We will hopefully be able to get you some videos. If we do are doing them, it's going to be, you know, uh, current and up to date. It's not, there's not going to be a, a gap or a waiting period in between the videos. So if there's a day without a video, it's because there really wasn't anything to video um, or enough of it. And yeah, so there you go. Anyway, that's it. That's all. Uh, hopefully I've brought you guys up to date. We're not out of the woods yet, but hopefully uh, we, once we get into the heart specialist and get that taken care of, uh, things will be looking up. I won't be going back to the truck for at minimum one month. Um, and we'll have to see what happens after that because if I do have to go in for any kind of surgery then it'll be at least another three months after that so I could be off work for a little while which is gonna suck because that means no money coming in that sucks even bigger anyway that's it that's all we'll talk to you